Planning what happens to your possessions after you die can be hard for several reasons. One, you do come to come to terms that you're not going to be around forever. And two, you realize just how much stuff you own. As Bank of North Dakota's Jeannie Thomas explains, as hard as it can be to start, you could face more difficult. You could make it more difficult for your loved ones if you leave it, if you leave it with them with all the work. An estate plan is a written set of documents communicating your wishes and ensure your designated caretakers what your final plans are in the areas of health care, distributing your assets, and your wishes if you are incapacitated. Being clear with your wishes can save the people involved with your care a great deal of heartache and potentially expenses. Discuss your plans with them. The first step is to gather all documents attached to assets you own. This includes, but isn't limited to, real estate documents like your deed, mortgage note, or HELOC documents, vehicle titles and titles for any other boat items like a boat, trailer, or ATV, recent bank account and credit card statements, business ownership documents, credit reports, an inventory of personal property, long-term care, disability and life insurance policies, and retirement account information and beneficiary designation forms. Then there are three main areas to consider as you make decisions. Decide who you want to benefit from your estate plan. After deciding whom you want to benefit from your estate, then decide what and how much goes to each individual or organization. Finally, determine who will play special roles for you. An executor carries out the instructions of your will. A digital executor is the person who knows your passwords, usernames, and security questions to access and handle your online activity. The trustee is a person who protects your property and follows the instructions if you have a trust. A healthcare agent or proxy makes difficult healthcare decisions if you're unable to do so. An agent handles your finances under your durable power of attorney. You may be thinking this is a lot of decisions to make. It is, but if you don't make them, it means someone else needs to. To learn more about estate planning, visit the free website for North Dakotans, smartwithmymoney.nd.gov. I'm Jeannie Thomas with Bank of North Dakota. Thanks for watching. And for more KX Finance tips as well as details on the state's new website, just go to kxnet.com.